Hi, we can't hear you. From excitement, I didn't uh, unmute my microphone. Wow, everyone, so good to see you. I don't have words to describe the level of excitement that I have. Thank you so much. It's so great to see you. Faces from all around the world. I see I counted something like uh, 29 countries and then I quit. Uh, people from the US, Indonesia, Japan, Italy, France. Wow, 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 really, it's a three wow. Thank you so much for making the effort. Chile is in the house also, I see. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for making the effort, for coming today. I know some of you are completely new to Points of View, and this is the first time you are going to have a, an experience with us, so welcome. Some of you are tribe members. I see here familiar faces from all around the world. Uh, wow, it's great to see you guys. Some of you I just met two weeks ago, face-to-face, uh, -face, and now we meet online. So welcome everyone. We have a very special session today. We are here, something like almost 400 people, uh, again, coming from different parts, different time zone. Some of you are still in the pyjama. Feel okay to open your camera and to be freestyle. And some of you in the end of the day, some of you in just in the lunch break. So this is points of view. We are the world diversity in action. And this time, this is the most magical part of points of view. And I'm very, very happy and excited because this is the first live webinar that we are doing about Speak Up, our newest tool. And uh, in the last uh, three weeks, it was amazing the amount of response and feedbacks and comments and messages and telephones that we received the whole hq team received from you guys it's really heartwarming thank you for all your love for all of your support uh, the good words thank you for the photographs that you are sharing how you play speak up uh, in your own country with your own tribe uh, thank you it's a big big privilege and today I'm going to tell you all about Speak Up, and uh, we are going to have a very short yet powerful experience. And uh, I'm going to give you time to ask questions, any questions that you have in mind. I know that some of you have lots of questions. So in the end of the session, in the end of the webinar, you will have time to ask anything you want from uh, the development process that is very unique. This is actually one of the, this is the, the first a development process that we did from A to Z with points of view facilitators, masters uh, from all around the world who were uh, co-creating this new solution together with us. So, and some of them are here. I know Ringo and Branka and Elodie and Ellen and many other. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. So you can ask me anything you want in the end of the session from the co-creation process to practical questions about how to use it, anything you just want. If you don't see an image, then I think you should see me on the screen uh, on the right side. And um, so this is, by the, by the way, most or less, I just want to say one more thing. Uh, we are going to, in the end of the session, and we're going to give you time for questions. And we have also a special offer for you guys. And uh, I'm going to announce a new program that we tailor made specifically for organizations. So stay tuned and uh, get excited because this is really a big deal for us. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Yaron Golan. I'm co-founder of Points of View. Uh, I'm located in Israel. Here in Israel, it's 5 p.m. afternoon. And uh, I'm uh, coming from background of psychology and business management. And in the last 60 plus years, been managing Points of View. And uh, Points of View, we develop creative tools for learning and for development. We have a very a simple yet powerful method. I'm going to tell you all about it today. And, uh, and again, I'm very happy and excited. I just came back last week after two and a half weeks abroad, uh, launching the Speak Up Solution in San Diego in the ATD conference. You cannot believe how our boot was the most exciting and juicy boot in ATD. People were standing in line, coming to experience, uh, starting to talk and to share with people that they don't know, opening up, laughing, crying. 
and getting amazing insights about the workplace, about, about the role. Uh, so again, I hope and I believe that uh, a taste of it I'm going to give you today during our process. Uh, so uh, just to say again, points of view, 16 plus years of experience. Uh, in the last 16 years, mainly we were working with uh, coaches and professionals, uh, providing them the tools and the certification. And uh, we were also working with lots of companies in the last 16 plus years from Intel, Microsoft, uh, Wix, NASA. And for many, many years, we understood that uh, we have to come up with a more tailored and specific solution for organizations. And about seven months ago, we made a decision, a strategic decision that it's time, that it's time to come up with a, with a solution for managers that uh, each manager will be able to facilitate meaningful conversations in the workplace. And we wanted to take the whole philosophy of points of view, the whole concept and method, which is endless and so deep, and try to package it in a way that it will be very easy and simple for people who don't know points of view, who are not coming from our background, to be able to create those meaningful conversations with their team, with their employees, with their staff and colleagues. And I think we did it. And uh, for those of you who still don't have points of view, speak up, took it in your hands. I think today you're going to learn more about the magic of it. So, um, by the way, if you want to write in the chat, I'm not sure I'm going to have the time to write to read everything right now. I promise I will read later. If you want to write me, uh, why are you here today? What brought you to this live webinar? What are you interested to learn more about, speak up? Just write down whatever you want to write, no filter. Uh, if you want to write uh, what is your role, anything you can write about yourself, that will be wonderful. And also to learn uh, curiosity, thank you. Uh, and again, no filter, digital version. Okay, so today we are going to do, I'm giving you like a heads up. It's the first time we are going to do a pilot test with so many people at the same time with our new digital uh, version. Uh, so the guy, you guys here are the first one to experience it worldwide. The official uh, launch is going to be only in two and a half weeks. We are still working. And today we took a lot of things out and just gave you a, a one short experience and uh, get ready. It's, it's amazing. So you're going to have a chance. How to facilitate speak up in uh, certain cultures. Perfect. Great. Okay. So I'm going to tell you all about it as we move forward. Let's start. So uh, our agenda for today, keep on writing. Thank you. It's very interesting and important for me what you are writing. So thank you. And thank you for the, again, for the warm words, for your love. Mwah. Really, it's a big, big privilege. Thank you. So our agenda for today. First of all, it's really uh, to understand the importance of culture, of dialogue, in the workplace, but I'm telling you, it's not only the workplace, it's everywhere in our life. How we can create a culture of dialogue where we can talk, open up, put the cards on the table and have honest and authentic conversations. Doesn't matter if it's with our employees, with our team, with our life partner, with our kids. This is really something special and we are going to talk about it. And we are going to share with you, I'm going to share with you how to identify communication challenges that uh, might arouse throughout the employee journey. And I'm going to share with you our way of looking at an employee journey. And um, of course, the, the cherry on the top is uh, to give you a short experience of our digital version of SpeakUp. And today to play with it, we are going to do something very fun and very deep at the same time. Okay, keep on writing. I don't see everything, I just see hearts, I just read excitement, and I love it, so thank you for that. And I promise you I'm going to read afterwards everything you are writing in the chat. Okay, so let's uh, talk a little bit about um, communication issues and challenges. You know, today, uh, paradoxically, as much as we are developing and we have more technology, to uh, make us connected, we are becoming more and more disconnected. Our ability to just talk 
and to share and to speak, it's slowly, slowly disappearing when there is more and more technology to do it. So there are different kinds of communication issues and challenges that all of us are facing, especially after the pandemic. Uh, some of them are technical, and some of them really about interpersonal uh, issues and personal issues. So technical, for example, it's information overload. We are on Facebook, on Twitter, on Messenger, on WhatsApp, on email, on this, on that, here, there. All day long, we are getting tons of emails, of messages. Everybody wants a piece of our attention. We don't have capacity anymore to listen. Our cup is full. And this is the environment as well. Our experience of this cup uh, fullness, it's all around. Another thing that has become a very challenge, especially for organizations who work globally, it's remote work. We have people working in different time zones sometimes, in different locations. Each one of them is sitting in an environment that is uh, not always uh, business oriented. They have kids, they have this, they have that. And this is a big challenge to communicate and to being able to really have a meaningful conversation. And of course, there is the lack of clear communication, which is um, starts with the ability for me as an individual in the organization to really have a clarity about what is expected for me. What, is, what are my goals? What are my objective goals that uh, my managers and my uh, team members are expecting for me to deliver? And so on. And again, once I don't have this clarity and I don't even create this clarity, then my ability to pay it forward and to engage other uh, team members, employees become very, very limited. Cultural and language barriers, uh, it's a big issue. And today, again, more and more, the, the language of diversity is becoming a big challenge. Everyone understands that diversity can really contribute to the success of an organization, of a team, that it can bring different parts, different qualities, and still, it's a challenge. Uh, for a group of people to sit together and not to speak the same language, not, uh, not, uh, not physically, but really metaphorically, not to speak the same language when each one of us comes from a completely different background, experience, and point of view. And the last thing, which I think it's one of the most significant issues of communications, it's the keep quiet approach. It doesn't matter, by the way, it's not only in a workplace related uh, issues, it's many, it's, it's a part of our society. We want just to feel good. We don't like to make uh, crucial and challenging conversations. We, want, we don't want to talk about the things that are a little bit more complicated, that are more challenged, that needs to, you know, a little bit more confrontation. We are trying to avoid it as much as we can. We are trying to postpone it. And this is, and, and the whole politically correct environment, uh, keep quiet approach. This is one of the most significant statements in organization. Just keep quiet, do your job, don't say anything. And in the end, there is a huge, huge cost for each and every one of us personally, emotionally, and for the organization in the bottom line, creating limited results. So uh, this is some of the uh, challenges and I would like to uh, start and go a little bit deeper and to share with you the employee journey as we see it in points of view. In points of view, we believe that if, if we don't uh, create a precise uh, journey for the employee, no matter what we are going to do, if we, if we don't do it properly in the sense of communication, transparency, and really making the right bonding, nothing that we are going to do is not going to work. Everything is going to be, you know, on the side. And when we set down uh, the whole development team of point of view masters from all around the world, each one of the masters come with a huge background, uh, working with organizations, with corporates, small startups and huge companies, we started to identify, okay, Let's look at the employee journey in the point of view eyes. What do we think? How can we do it different? And we divided the employee journey into five different stages. Each stage has its own qualities, its own 
things to be aware of, and uh, it's like a never ending cycle of the employee journey. So the first one, it's a starting point. And the starting point many times starts when a manager receives uh, um, from the people outsourced or inside the company who did uh, who uh, recruited uh, two, three potential candidates. He gets, or she, two, three potential candidates that have the skills, have everything they need, and the manager needs to make a decision which one of those candidates he or she are going to start this journey together. Many times the manager doesn't know how to go into a deeper level of conversation that will not only talk about the skills and the professional side, but really to see relationship-wise, if this is the person I want to work with. Most of the time is spent in work. We need to have a good working environment with good people around us. Otherwise, it's not fun and it's not so effective to come to work with people that we don't like. So first of all, we created a set of different kind of, we call it dialogue templates, dialogue starters. We created for the managers very easy interview processes that will really help them to go deeper and to learn more about the inner world and some of the life story of the candidates. And this is, first of all, will help the manager to make a more wise decision that is not based only on the skills of the candidate, but also on their emotional and even expectation forward. This is one thing. The second thing is that if an interview is done precisely, and if we find the right candidate, then this is a huge opportunity for the manager to start and build the bonding part for this stage. And the onboarding starts over there. Because if I know that this is a candidate that I want to go further with, this is when I can start and create different kinds of conversations with the candidate about what is he expecting from this new role? What is my expectation from them? There is a chance that the manager and the candidate will start having a very synchronized and clear conversation that will increase the chances that they are going to work together precisely for a long time. So this is where we are starting. We created different kinds of activities that are easy. One of the things that we did different than the other points of view tools, we try to make it simple without too much explanation, without bringing all the depths really to tell the manager, you need to do one, two, three, and the magic will happen. And something in the dynamic will just happen. So the starting point is the beginning. Then we are moving to the shared values. Okay, after we brought the right employee into our team, now one of the biggest challenges organizations are facing worldwide is how do we connect the new employee to the value and the DNA of the organization? So this is one challenge. And again, we created different kind of dialogue starters, especially for that, to create a connection between the employee to the organization. But today, different than how it was before the pandemic, after the pandemic, all the priorities of the employees changed. Today, it's not only about how the employee is going to connect and to share the values of the organization, but how the organization is going to connect to the unique DNA and value that each employee brings with them. And again, this is a big challenge and this is a key because once the employee and the, and the, and the organization together are finding the shared value, this is where there is like the, the, the miracle is happening. This is when the employee become a, a part of the organizations and they feel belong because it's not about fulfilling some kind of organizational culture that I got nothing to do with it. This is the place where those two are really having a very crucial meeting point. So this is the shared values part. And then we have the team collaboration where we start to work when a new employee is joining an existing team or ongoing teamwork. Teamwork is challenging what to do. And a group of people that sometimes can be very dominant and each one of them has their own way of doing things and each one of them is pulling to his own direction can be very challenging, very exhausting, and sometimes can really take away the, the, the team members from focus and can create lots of issues and conflicts that most of the time they are not spoken. And sometimes the only thing that you need to do before you even go deep to the essence or, or the root problem is just to give space for the team members 
to open up and to share and to do a small tuning and synchronization for everything to change. So we created a set of dialogue starters and activities that the manager can facilitate with his team. Uh, some of them are very soft and just to talk about what's working, what do I like about our teamwork? And some of them are more challenging and the aim of them is to deal with conflict and with issues that are more complicated and to do it in a constructive way. Then we have the employee uh, development. This stage, it's critical because today, again, employees, when they are coming to a new uh, workplace, they are looking for ways to take care of their well-being. They are looking for ways to develop themselves, to learn new skills, to have different career opportunities. And this conversation about employee development became one of the most significant one. And in this stage, with the templates uh, that we created, the manager can really have a meaningful conversations about the employee well-being, what's stressing him or her out, what will help them to be in balance, where, what is their next step in the company, which role they really want to achieve, different kind of conversations that are crucial for the employee, employee growth in the organization. And there is the finish line. It's the last part of the employee journey. And in this part, and in this part, uh, this is the finish line for different reasons. Sometimes an employee uh, or a manager get a promotion and they need to move to another role in the company. Sometimes they get terminated. Sometimes they, they decided to quit, different reasons. So one thing is to uh, do a proper closure with the person who is living in a respectful way, in a way that will leave good taste in their mouth and in our mouth. So first of all, to say goodbye, it's an art, but it's not only about that. Also just think about it. Sometimes a team loses their manager or one very important team member. If we don't find the right way to allow the team members to uh, open up and to process and to maybe replan or uh, and find a new way of how they are moving forward from here to the future, this can be devastating. So the finish line, it's really to help processing and being uh, saying the right goodbye to the person who is leaving, but also for the group of people that stays in the company and to help them to use this challenge as an opportunity. And I can talk about it for a long time, but I really want you to experience, so I'm going to move forward and to tell you more, uh, so I'm running fast, sorry for that. Let me uh, just talk a little bit about this. Uh, why speak up? Uh, speak up, you know, today it's one of the most hottest world in the learning and development uh, world. And it's unbelievable that uh, we came up with this precise name. And speaking up, maybe it's one of the most challenging things to do. Anyway, for me personally, many times, Personally, in the I statement, I prefer to not to talk and to wait, and, but uh, it's critical to have the ability to speak up and to, to say what we think and uh, what we feel, because otherwise nothing is going to happen. And, and speak up maybe have three main impacts. The first one is to build trust. When we are speaking up, when we are showing ourselves, this is first of all how we feel seen and we feel valued and we feel accepted and the whole state of mind as an employee, by the way, not as an employee only, in every relationship, trust is the most critical uh, ingredient to grow. So to build trust, it's crucial for people to open up, to bring themselves, to be willing to make mistakes. It's not to, to make mistakes or this encouragement doesn't really work only in a statement. It needs to work on the practical level. So when there is trust, I am willing to take more risks. I'm willing to think outside of the box. I'm willing to do things that I usually don't do because I know that there is somebody who got my back. One more thing about building trust, when I am allowing myself to, to bring myself and to speak up, I'm actually giving other people the ability to do it as well. I'm encouraging other people to speak up as well. The second thing is to address issues early. Yes, many times we are postponing uh, lots of things that we need to do and slowly, slowly we are creating a bigger 
and a bigger emergency situation. And we don't wake up only when the soul is here on our neck and it started to be painful. This is when we are starting to do the changes and we are starting to make all the necessary arrangements, but it doesn't have to be this way. If we know how to address issues long before they become an emergency, it saves so much resources. It saves time in, uh, in money, in uh, focus, and also it gives us the ability to prevent from conflicts that are going to come along the way. And it's not a matter of, uh, of uh, you know, um, something that some organizations can do because they have the option uh, to, to speak and to talk. This is something which is a matter of a pattern. Once we know how to create ongoing conversations about some issues and to solve them before they become a monster, it's only a matter of creating the right habits and the right patterns. And the third thing is to empower your workforce. When we are speaking up, when your employee and team are speaking up, this is where their motivation is high in the sky. This is where they feel passionate to come to the workplace. This is how you make employees feel belong. This is the place for them to go and to really have a unique place to bring themselves. Okay. So um, I'm going to move forward and uh, maybe we will send you the presentation later and you will be able to read about it uh, because there are many, many things here we wanted to share with you, but I really want you to have a short experience. Uh, maybe I will just talk about why points of view, a few things, first of all, simple and effective. We created physical toolkit, digital, different kind of tools that will make it easy for every manager, every team leader, every HR to really facilitate those conversations in a simple and effective way. Another thing is that points of view, it's deep and playful at the same time. And it's very important because if we don't go deep to the root problem, if we don't go deep to what we really want, what we're really passionate about, what are really our challenges, then no matter which solutions we are going to come up with, they will always be on the surface. They will always be shallow. So in points of view with our tools, with our uh, metaphors and photo-based tools, our experiential method, we have the ability really to go deep and to really make a sustainable change, but at the same time to do it in a playful and fun way that really brings people together to talk also about challenging issues, but in a fun and playful way. And again, there are other reasons. I think, again, I can send it to you that later and that will be good enough. And uh, I think it's a chance maybe to play a little bit. What do you think? Good option, right? Yes, I see. Okay, thank you. So first of all, I will say two things before we start. One, this is still our beta. I'm going to do a very short demonstration with the points of view digital, a speak up digital tool, which is going to be available from the 5th of July. And it's going to have different kinds of features. Today, all of us, we are going to use it as a, an employee, not as a manager. The manager have an ability to choose different kinds of templates and processes. We are not going to go into that today. Today, I'm going to give you a short experience like an employee. Okay, uh, so I don't know, we have our technology team also here online ready. We told them, listen, we are going to have a few hundred people signing up at the same time. And they look, uh, they started to sweat and to get nervous. We told them, don't worry about it. It's a good pilot. Uh, so first of all, I really hope that it's going to work and it's not going to collapse. Let's see uh, if it's going to collapse. I have a plan B, uh, Marek and me, we prepared whatever we need to prepare. Uh, so this is one. The second thing is I'm inviting you to start and going a little bit into yourself. You know, in points of view, we start with the pose. For us, posing, slowing down, taking the time just to be, this is the, the first step in order to really uh, expand our point of view and to find some insights. Usually we use music in our pose. I'm not going to do it today. I'm just going to guide you through as I speak. So first of all, I'm inviting you to make sure that you have a safe space and you have a good environment that nobody is going to disturb you. Okay. 
And uh, if you can put your phone on mute, please do it. Uh, really allow yourself the space for the next 10, 15 minutes just to be, you don't have to do anything. If you have a piece of paper next to you, maybe you would like to write something down, you are most welcome to do. And I want to start with inviting you to take two deep breaths inside. And exhale. Take another one. Exhale, great. I'm going to invite you to ask yourself a question. I think maybe the most important question you can ask yourself. How are you? How do you feel today? How do you feel now? And again, don't judge whatever feelings or emotion that come. Just allow it to be. And just observe it. You don't have to do anything. How do you feel? Feel excited? Feel tired? Exhausted? Just identify. Another thing I want you to uh, be aware of, take another deep breath, are your thoughts. Which thoughts crossing your mind now when you are sitting here? What bothers you? Is there anything specific that is trying to all the time capture your attention, something you need to do? Again, don't fight it, don't judge it, just let it be, just observe it, okay? And I'm going to invite you now to come up with one issue that you are struggling with. Anything you have on your mind, on your heart, I'm inviting you to find something that is related to your workplace, to your role. Maybe it's something that you are going through with yourself, as a part of your role in the organization, maybe it's something that the whole organization is going through. And slowly as I speak, I'm inviting you to try to summarize this issue, workplace issue for yourself in a sentence or two, try to be specific. Okay, I'm inviting you not to stay on the general level in a very macro level statement. Try to be more specific. What is your workplace issue? If you need to tell it to yourself in a sentence or two, how will you describe or explain yourself the challenge or issues that you are currently facing in your workplace? You don't have to share it with anyone. It's completely for yourself. But I'm really inviting you to be authentic and to be you know, straightforward with yourself. OK, if you want to write it down, that will be great as well. And in a moment, I'm going to uh, we are going to share with you in a link, not yet. I'm first I'm going to show you what I'm going to what I want you to do. We are going to share with you a link to the Speak Up Digital version. So let me first of all give you maybe the instructions of what we are going to do, and then you will be able to do it with yourself. I'm sharing my screen. Can you see my screen? Perfect. Okay. So the process that we are going to go through, we call it workplace navigator. And in our uh, digital game, we have different kinds of templates with one card, two cards, um, relating to different parts of the employee journey. Uh, Marek and me, we chose something very simple for you today. Workplace Navigator, the whole idea of this very easy and very deep yet fun process, it's to identify and analyze a specific workplace challenge that you are now dealing with from a different perspective. And again, get ready, it's going to be unexpected and precise. So in a minute, you are going to get a link. After you will get a link, you will just put your name and your email, and then you will get an access to this uh, uh, specific uh, process. We have here the centerpiece with the cards on it. We have uh, different cards. You can scroll, you can move them. These are the photo cards that you know from uh, a speak up. For those of you who know speak up. Okay. We have some question cards. You can go over the whole questions this way. Okay, different kind of questions. And you have uh, photo cards, uh, sorry, word cards. And in the word cards, by the way, you can find stories and quotes and different kind of questions that will give you some more point of view about those uh, 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 words. Just a second. Okay, 
So I tell you what I want you to do. First of all, I want you to uh, follow my guidelines and I will take you through the process step by step. So you have in mind your workplace issue. Once you're going to get the link and you're going to go into the process, I want you to do two things. One, I want you to go over the question and find one question that resonates with you the most in regards to your workplace issue. Maybe the question will be connecting to you straightforward. Maybe something in this question will make you think. Once you find the right question that you really want to explore, then choose it. Okay, I'm inviting you here to be intuitive as well, not only logic. So first of all, you are going to find the right question to help you explore your issue, find the one that really speaks to you, and then you're going to look for a photo. One photo card that really connects to your question, connects to your workplace issue. Choose the question, either facing up, you can choose it facing up this way, and you will get any card, and the card will choose you, not you the card. Or you have another option, just flip the cards, look at them, and find the exact photo that really represents how you feel, where are you right now in this challenge in your workplace, and maybe connects to your uh, question, okay? Please don't choose yet word card. We will get to that, so don't do it yet. Follow me. I'm going to give you three, four minutes to log in into the system, then to choose your question card, then to choose your photo card. If you chose the question card and you don't like it, you can click here the trash icon and it will go away. And then you can just uh, choose. I like my expectation. It's a good question for me. Okay, so uh, Marek, this is the time. Uh, tech team, we are crossing our fingers that everything is going to work. And we also have our support team here on the call. So if you have some issues, just write in the chat. Two things. One, the system at the moment works only on screens uh, from laptop and up. So if you have a small screen or a tablet or, an, or, an, or a mobile, it will tell you that it's not supported. If this is the case, sorry for that. You will have to be with us. And again, you will experience the process in a different way. Okay? And that's it, Marek. Yes. The link is there, and I just want to add, you don't have to send us your email. It goes automatically, so no worries. Enjoy. And take your time, log in. Mark, can you please send the link again because it got drowned and lost with all the messages from other people? Thank you. Also, so take two, three minutes. Only be very precise about your workplace issue find the question that really resonates with you the most in regards to this workplace issue and one photo card that for some reason shows the connection that you have between how you feel and this workplace issue. Wow, 447 people. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And I'm inviting you to take your time, go over the cards, each one of them, spend some time on the questions, spend some time on the photos. I will guide you through in a minute also about the photo. And see, I want you to make connection. The whole process that we are doing now and the whole process also with points of view, it's to make new connections between our right brain and left brain, between our experience and our past to our present and to our future. It's different connection that really suddenly opens up a new point of view for us. Very exciting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are quiet, so I assume that you are in and I'm crossing my finger that everything is okay. Okay, so if you need help, just write here on the chat. Yeah, on the iPhone today, it's not going to work. If you need anybody else help, just write us and we will help you. And again, I invite you to really choose a question that challenges you a bit. Maybe a question that it's not so easy for you to answer. Mm -hmm. 
but you feel that this is a question that can really help you maybe to address this challenge in your workplace from a different angle. Can I start asking a question? Excuse me? Okay. May I ask you a question, sir? Okay, take another minute, and then we are going to continue. And I'm going to invite you in a minute to observe your photo card. Let me share my screen as well. I didn't understand how can I make the, the wheel go around. You can do it either by, by scrolling, the, the cards up and down. Oh, okay. Okay, or if you have uh, this roller on the mouse, you can scroll them up and down with the roller. Okay, great, thank you. Okay. Um, so take another 30 seconds and I want you to have your, your photo card when it's open this way so you can see it on the whole screen. So if it's, oh, so it is, this is the card I wanted. What did you, oh, okay, you know what? I love this one as well. Choose this card. Okay. So choose your card. And if you want to enlarge it, you can just click on the icon and take a moment. I want you to have your card enlarged on the screen. And let's observe the card, the photo card. Okay. First of all, I want you to know this when we're looking at the card, what is it made of? What are the facts? What are the things that you really know and you can tell about the photo? And then I want you to go deeper. I want you to try to figure out for yourself what is the narrative? What is the story of this photo? And how this photo connects to your own uh, uh, workplace issue in a metaphorically way. Make your own connection. Okay, so we don't have a lot of time. Uh, so I'll tell you what we are going to do. I'm going to invite one person from the team here, from the group, uh, who wants to share, uh, to share with us briefly, whatever the, he or she, whatever you would like to share. And I will do something very nice with you, just to give everybody a taste, and uh, then I will take it from here. So if anyone wants to take the opportunity and to do like a short observation process with me about your workplace issue, then uh, I'm inviting you to just unmute yourself and speak up. Hi, Aaron. Hi. Hi, Tamara. Opa, Tamarush. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Tamara was participating in L3 Turning Point program two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yes. Hi, everybody. Hi. Good to see you. Yes. So I tell you what I want. I want you to share your screen. Okay. And uh, you're going to give us uh, a minute brief about your uh, issue in your workplace related issue. And okay. you're going to talk about your question card that you chose and why you chose it, but you don't say nothing about your photo card. Okay, it's hard because I need to make the screen big. Let me make it big for you guys. Okay, and, and you can take the, the carousel, you can take it to the side. You see, you can just take it to the side. Great. There we go. Okay, so give us a brief about what is your workplace issue and why you chose this question. Don't talk anything about your photo card. And okay. Tamara, somebody reminded you, and I agree, that you are brave. And you are also <laughs> the first one who took the stage, so now you are brave. I'm brave. All the way. Yes. Uh, my issue is um, how can I do, how, what can I do to shine and to be able to take my knowledge to to a next level to shine in what in where it's too general again be more specific what, where do you want to shine what do you want to do um how can i shine in schools doing what taking points of view and other methodologies okay and why did you choose the question what are my expectations uh, i did it um face down and that's what came about. And I thought that uh, I like it because sometimes it's more my expectations than others. Sometimes mine are higher and that's why I can't reach them. And what is preventing you from so, so far from shining and for bringing yourself, yourself all the way? Um, I would have to say um, the courage 
to do it. Just, to do it, to do what? Just to take my place, to find a place where, where I belong, to start doing it. Okay. To find a place where you start and just do it. Yes. Okay. First of all, I have lots of more questions, but I'll tell you, team, here, all the group, we have here 445 people. You heard very briefly. Again, I have more questions, but I'm not going to ask here. I'm inviting you, somebody who have any kind of observation for Tamara on her card. You don't know why she chose this card. Probably Tamara has a reason. I think probably she has a reason why she chose this card. And how does this card connect to her expectation and to her longing to shine? I'm inviting somebody who have an observation, just unmute yourself and please tell Tamara, how do you think her photo card connects to her expectation and to her issue? So if you are ready, just unmute yourself and speak up. That's Judith. <clears throat> Opa, and, Judith. Opa. <laughs> this, uh, for me, these chairs are shining, they are bright colors, but they are empty. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that's how I, I connect. And what does it mean to you when they are empty? That she doesn't take her place. Everything is ready, but she doesn't build anything um, on this chair to become real chair. Okay. Great. Thank you, Judith, for speaking up. Yes, anybody else who wants to give another point of view about this card? For tomorrow, yes. again, freestyle, yes. Marc Torrance. Oh, my picture. Hello. Hello, I'm, I'm in uh, Switzerland and France. Uh, I'm, I'm very sensitive to Tamara's topic because I, 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 I go in different schools. And when I see that picture, the, the, there's no reason you're gonna try to, you have to stand up. You have to get in movement. Don't, don't sit down anymore. You can't sit because you won't be comfortable. So you gotta stand up and go out there. <laughs> and I have a question. What is your most significant detail in the photograph for you in Tamara's photograph? Which one is the one that you capturing your eyes the most? Hello? I think we lost him. Okay. Anybody else wants to give another point of view about Tamara cards? I mean, I would like Tamara, Tamara, you are, it's Catherine. Catherine, 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 yes. <laughs> Tamara, you are a F colorful gladiator, remember? So if you can sit on the chair, sit on your floor. <laughs> if you can make it. School, they love to sit on the floor. Go for it. Great. Thank you. Last person who wants to give Tamara some kind of observation to the car. Luke. Yes. Can I speak, sir? Yes. Sir, uh, uh, I see it in the positive eyes. Yes. Though the chair is very shiny, there is no plate to sit. Even after, you can sit, accommodate, and talk in this manner where there is no even a plate to sit. Okay, thank you. Tamara, I want to share with you also my association that came to me. You know, when we were kids, there is this game that we have to, we have a certain amount of chairs and everybody, there is the music until uh, the music stops and you have to sit down. So for me, what came, it's this, you know, when we are doing it, the, you really want, you really need to want to win in order to be able to catch the chair. If you are not really determined, if you are not going to fight for it, if you are not going, you are not going to win. So this energy, I remember when I was a kid, all the time I calculated exactly when it's going to happen. I'm looking at the person on the on the music. So this passion, this energy, this is what uh, really talks to me uh, and made me an association. Thank you, Tamara. Okay. And uh, you can stop your sharing. We'll get back to you maybe soon. Uh, anybody else wants to share also your uh, briefly your workplace issue and maybe one of the cards that the question card and the photo card, this is your chance. Hi. Hi. Ihran from Hong Kong, remember? We've hello, been together. hello. Yes. Ihran, good to see you. Long time. Wait, you're on mute. You need to unmute yourself. Great. Hi. 
Hi. Great. Good to see you. Yeah. So Good please, to see you again. I share my screen. Yeah, share your screen and share with us briefly about your workplace issue and about the question that you chose. And don't talk about your photo card, okay? Okay. Uh, uh, okay to see right now. Yes. Okay. Uh, what's stressing me out? This is the topic because I felt sick for almost a week. My neck cannot move last week and it actually seems kind of overload. But the problem is that um, I don't think it is really overload, but everyone is telling me that I'm overload. <laughs> so, so I want to figure out what is really stressing me out in the workplace. But I have a question. What you are saying that everybody tells you that you are overloaded, but you don't feel necessarily that you are overloaded. Yeah. Okay, and then the results is that right now you have a neck problem and you are incapable to walk because your body collapsed. Uh, back to work again, because uh, of course I consult doctor, the chiropractic, and actually it's, it's okay right now, but it is a an issue for for me to to get to a point for some time uh, some reflections on my work or okay. my career or my job. <laughs> okay. So and do you do you think that you are overloading yourself with work? I don't think it is overloading, but I think I'm not really performing up to what I'm expecting. For what you are expected or what you are expecting from yourself? What I'm expecting for myself. What you're expecting from Okay. Okay. I, again, I, I have so many questions and what I'm telling you, all of you guys, this is only like the tip of the ice just to give you a taste. <laughs> but uh, let's do it. If anyone can use one of the, the cards that uh, uh, Irene ch shows for her and give her some kind of a message, connection, Please just unmute yourself and you can speak. I can speak. Please. Uh, from what I see, uh, Iran, uh, so there are some uh, people who are who need uh, who have special needs, and they are performing something really difficult, even for uh, people who don't need anything. It's all a matter of uh, concentration and focus and everything. So maybe uh, what is lacking here is for you to be in the moment uh, so that you might um, just uh, see what's happening and act and focus. And what is the most significant uh, detail for you in the photo? Which one captured your attention the most? They are fighting for it. They go for it. They are so focused and concentrated that they are on the moment. Okay. In the moment. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, anybody else wants to give another point yes, of view? Sir. Yes. Yes, I can see. Uh, this is Arna from Bangladesh. So here I can see that uh, actually if we have a focus on the, our goal or vision, so in that case, physical disability is not matter. So I think that there is a positive thing. Physical disability is not any kind of uh, obligation for our goal or to meet our objective, mm. I would like to say. Thank okay, you. thank you. Irene, why did you choose this photo? Can I speak? Uh, uh, face, face up. Just a second. No, but why did you choose this photo? Why? Because I see it, uh, they are thriving. And I also see the elements of they are tr trying their best to go. And but how does it connect? How does it connect to you and to how uh, you feel? To a certain extent, it, it is stuck. Stuck. <laughs> okay. Stuck. Thank you, Irene. Thank you so much. And uh, again, guys, sorry, I'm sorry. We just don't have a lot of time, and I really want to hear you all. But I want to give you also uh, like a closure of this process. So let me uh, now invite you to choose your word card. And the word card that you are going to choose, I want you to choose one word card 
that represents what can help you to overcome this issue that you are now challenging with, what can help you to find a solution, what will help you to change the situation. So take a moment, go over the cards. Again, you can choose the cards facing up, really go over them and see which one resonates with you the most, or just choose one card, random, facing down, whatever will it be. I'm inviting you also to read some of the inspiration, to read the short story, some of the quotes. There are beautiful questions also related. Take a minute, find your word card that represents how to move forward with this workplace related issue. Read the stories and then we are going to summarize this process and I'm going to give you time to ask questions. Take another minute. If you are sharing your screen, oh, okay, great, got it. Take another minute. Choose your card. Yeah, Ron, me... you said the word card is to do what? This is the, word, the word card will represent how you can overcome ah. the stressful issue or a challenge that you have at workplace. Find one word that represents the solution. Okay. Maybe Thank it's something you. you need to do. Maybe it's something you need to undo. Whatever it is, just find your own connection, read the text, and then we are going to wrap it up. Thank you. Who was it, Caroline? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see you, but I hear your voice, and I can tell. <laughs> Love you, miss you. I hope to see you soon. Yes. Okay, so... Please, I, I want to give you some time to ask questions. So what I do want, if you can summarize maybe in a sentence your uh, takeaway from the process, maybe it's the card that you've got, maybe a quote or question. If you want to say it out loud, then please say it out loud, but in a short sentence, or if you want to write it down in the chat, write it down in the chat, but what are you taking away from this short process about how to deal, overcome uh, with this stress issue or challenge that you are facing in the work. If anybody wants to say something out loud, then you are most welcome. I must be prepared and I will be a winner. Thank you, Judith. Melissa, insightful to be out of the box all the time. Great. Thank you, Alcina. Fun and profound. Thank you. I'm interested not only about your experience now with the tool, but something personal about you, something that you're taking. I need to take an action, go for my seat, and Elisa, enjoy the floor. Got it, trust the process. Look at the past and get answers for now and future. Gain confidence, great, great, great. Thank you for writing, be brave and get uh, the, to create space for new, beautiful. Again, just look at it, so, so short experience when we are taking the time and suddenly so much uh, observations. Keep on writing, sky is no limit, pause, take a breath. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for that. I'm going to give you a time for questions in a second. Let me just, I want to show you two things. I promised you two things. Let me go first. Okay. Uh, one, just to tell you that we have different kind of solutions that call speak up from building up a culture of dialogue in your organization, speak up toolkit, the physical game, the digital, different kind of workshops. The first one is going to be launched on the 5th of July, different kind of speak up. And we are going to uh, keep you posted because some of you might want to bring it into your organization. Some of you would like to, some of you are points of view certified facilitators. So in the next few months, we will tell you how you are going to be able to facilitate our new points of view program for organizations everywhere in the world. So stay tuned. Two things I want to tell you as a promotion for today. One, we have an amazing program, points of view, new program for organization. We call it 
build a culture of dialogue in eight weeks. We took the most significant content and uh, critical skills and changes that organization can do that will really create a culture of organization of, uh, of uh, dialogue in the organization and we put it into an ongoing uh, program with mentorship implementation amazing if you want to learn more about how to bring this program into your company if you want one of our experts and masters to meet with you and to help you to diagnose what are your learning needs and What is your expectation and how really to create this culture of dialogue in your own environment? Please scan the code. You can find the link also here in the chat. Make sure to set up a meeting. It's free. We are going to invest time uh, really uh, learning about your needs and to come up with an amazing solution. So don't miss it out. And for points of view, certified facilitators, stay tuned. In a few months, we are going to share with you all about this program. Everything, get ready. This is going to be mind-blowing, so we'll keep you posted as we move forward. And the second thing is, for those of you who still didn't get uh, this amazing offer, we have a very special lounge offer that you can get the physical game, the digital game, uh, and the new workshop that is going to be on the 5th of July and the 11th of July. Don't miss it out. It's going to be changed in 72 hours. So if you didn't get yours yet, make sure to get it because this is the best deal ever. If you have the physical game and you want to add the digital uh, game and also the workshop in the email that is going to be sent out as we speak, you will have also an option to add to your physical toolkit also the digital and the skills workshop attend this. So questions, I know that some of you we are already out of time, but I want to give you time. So please feel free to ask me any questions that you have. Go for it. Yes. In Spanish, it's going to be in the next few months, we are going to have it in Spanish and we are going to have it in more uh, uh, languages. So stay tuned. And the way that it's going to work, we are going to create for you an uh, add-on of the language that you can add to your existing English kits. And you are going to have an access for all the materials online. I don't know if you know, for those of you who are new to points of view, then uh, or to the speak up uh, online, there is a free option. training videos step by step two three minutes each who will teach you exactly what to do you have uh, 10 different dialogue templates dialogue starters for the interview onboarding shared values team collaboration everything is downloadable and you can use it it's a part of what you are getting uh, it's a part of the it's a part of the of the added value that we give yes questions small questions I try to find them here but you can speak up as well. Let me see. Uh, okay, as a coach, can I use this uh, with small groups or do I need to be a point? To... First of all, you can use it freestyle, however you want. We made it easy so you can implement it and facilitate it with any size of group in any way that you want. You don't have to be a point of view certified facilitator for that. Just do it. Again, just bring this message of creating a culture of dialogue and use it freestyle. If you want to become more professional, In using points of view if you would like later on to deliver the points of view unique uh, training program for organizations that are, then I'm inviting you to uh, consider to become a points of view certified facilitator but it's not a must you can use it however you want more questions yes we ship this product anywhere in the world you have two options you have standard shipping which is 25 US dollars and you have express shipping which is 50 US dollars. We ship it anywhere in the world and sometimes you can get it in uh, two three days when you, you choose the express shipping so when you go to the checkout just choose the kind of shipping that you want more questions I'm trying to see here in the chat so please feel free to write me if you have any other questions let's see um, okay please you can speak up also that would be great to hear you. If you have anything to add or to him um, just to get to to hear your voice hi Aaron hi okay it's all seen I just want to say thank you very much it's wonderful amazing and I would like to do some workshops yes digital and some others so we'll be in touch thank you thank you Alcina and I'm telling you and to everyone 
as a, as a manager or as a point or as a facilitator, when you get the digital game, you have your own template library where you can choose a different kind of templates, dialogue starters in different kind of uh, uh, employee journey stages. Uh, the second step later on, you will be able to create even your own processes. So thank you, Alcina, and, and it's great to, to hear your voice and to see you here with us. Thank you. Yes, yes. I just want to say that I got my speak up today, Fanny. Uh, yeah, and so uh, uh, now I want to, you know, to add this to, to the other things that you have, the, the digital and, and so on. So I'll be looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Isabella is asking here how it works in international environment. First of all, points of view, we are a global company. And for years, we really take into consideration in any tool that we are doing that it has to be cross-culture, cross-generation, cross-gender. All of our cards uh, are made in, in variety of all races, all genders, all colors, everything. And one of the things that I'm really proud of, this is the first time that we also chose handicapped or more challenged uh, uh, people in this new game. Uh, so you have all international um, uh, styles. And this is a part of the points of view magic that when you play the points of view tool, it really helps you to go beyond any border. Doesn't matter the location, the, the, the country or race, whatever. So yes, it's, it's, it's a part of the magic of points of view. Uh, yes, and it can be used also with other tools. You can combine the speak up uh, uh, photos with punctum questions, with the flow questions or vice versa. All of our tools can be implemented with one another. One of the beautiful things about speak up that the cards are vertical. All of the points of view cards so far were only horizon. And this is the first time we created the vertical cards and the toolkit also come with magnets and with erasable pens. And it's a, a celebration of creativity. The whole idea that we created, it's like a kind of a centerpiece that the toolkit is opening up and you can really play and invite the team members to create something together and to tell their story and their challenges in a visual way. Yaron, I have a question. The yes. digital is only in English right now? The digital at the moment is, going, is in English. And again, probably in the next few months, we will announce about an additional languages. And uh, But it can be very easily translated with Google Translate if you have it on your web browser. So it was designed so it can be easily uh, translated uh, live. OK, thank you. Yes, more questions. Me, if you take it to a, a workplace, do you do it uh, online with all the coworkers or you take it physically with them? What do you recommend? It depends. If you are, for, again, it very depends on your working style. Personally, I like to work with the physical tool when I'm working face to face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's much more engaging, it's more experiential, it gives me more possibilities to do different kinds of activities in the room. Uh, we just did a festival last week, week and a half in Mexico for 100 points of view tribe members all over Mexico and, and all over the world. And we did it face to face. And it's amazing the kind of activities and engagement you can do with the physical tools. Uh, personally, when I'm working with people through Zoom or through Microsoft Teams or Hangout, then uh, the digital solution will be the ideal. But you put it like the same as the other tools, as Puntum and Faces and everything. You set it up the same and they choose. You, okay. First of all, the toolkit comes with explanation. Okay. It, comes, it comes with a step-by-step -step explanation, very easy. Again, we challenged ourselves and we said, okay, let's make it simple and the most easy we can do it. So again, it was designed for managers, not necessarily for points of view facilitators or any other professional. We took into consideration that those people don't have a clue in facilitating. Mm -hmm. okay. So everything is designed for managers and it's very easy. You have all the instructions step by step. You have a forum online or a tri platform with the team who co-created this beautiful tool together. So if you have any question, if you need suggestion, if you want ideas, then you can also post on the forum. And also, once you purchase the, the all-in-one speak up uh, offer or the digital one, Every month, we are going to have also a session online uh, to give you time to ask questions, to share with you a new digital templates, and that will be the place for you all the time. 
uh, to get uh, to deepen your practice with points of view and in speak up specifically. Okay, thank you. Yes, more questions. I have one question, Yaron. Thank you for the presentation. I just want need to know uh, if we want it in Spanish. You said uh, it will be uh, available in a few weeks, but we have to to benefit of this offer. Do we have to buy it now in English and then you resend another physical one? Yes. If you buy, if you buy, first of all, thank you for the question. And this goes to all the languages. If you buy now the English version, once we will have the Spanish translation, it will be also available digitally online and you will be able to receive an access for it as a part of it. So if you purchase now the bundle and get advantage of this uh, special offer, don't worry about it. Once we will have it available in other languages as our client, you will get a free access. You will not charge you an additional cost for all the digital material because we have everything online ready for you. And what will happen with the physical tool? With the physical tool, we are going to have an option. We call it add-on. If you would like only to add the physical uh, question cards and the uh, and, uh, word card, you will be able to purchase them in a very, you know, like a cost price. Uh, but again, you will be able to use all the other resources for free with no additional cost. You will be able to get access to all the content of the stories and the quotes and, uh, and questions in Spanish. You will be able to get all the templates and the dialogue started in Spanish for free. No additional, no additional charge. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, yes, more questions. First of all, it's a pleasure to hear your voice. So please, if you have more questions, speak up. And it's amazing that we are 300 people yet here in the call. Um, and we are 16 minutes after the session. So really, I am really speechless. Yes. Yaron, how long will we have access to the digital? The digital, um, the digital yeah. it's a one year plan and it's going to start on the okay. 5th of July. And it's going to be available for you for one year. And then after a year, hopefully you would like to renew it. And also the plan is uh, probably in the next six months, we are going to add more and more features to this existing toolkit uh, from having more and more different kind of uh, templates and dialogue starters that you can uh, use and to create your own and some more uh, features that we are going to announce about them soon. So the plan it's for one year membership that will start from July 5th. And again, hopefully we will all the time make you excited about the new things. And, uh, and the idea by the way, later on, it's to make this uh, tool available for our certified facilitators so they can also charge their clients through the system and to give them coaching session with points of view. So we have lots of things in the development pipeline and we will tell you all about it as we move forward. Thank you. Yes, more questions. I was in the festival there in Mexico. It was amazing. Thank you, Marie Semen. It was really amazing. I, I agree with you. Uh, the, the offer, this special offer price on the 15th of June, which is mean three days from now, the toolkit price is going to be full price. And the, and the bundle, the speak up all in one is going to uh, change. And it's going to be around $500 instead of $617 or 19 so right now, when you purchase it in $399, you save a lot of money. And this special offer will end in three days. So make sure that you will get it. And because really, this is, uh, uh, this is not going to, we are not going to have this offer and promotion again. In Portuguese, in Spanish, in France, in different languages, we will have it uh, in the next few months, six months. We will keep you posted. And again, you will get access to everything in case that you purchase it uh, already. Um, let's see until the 399 I told you how much is going to be here, digital membership. So then the, the digital membership, it's 249 a year. Right now we have it in 199 a year. Or if you purchase the whole speak up all in one bundle, then it's, it's it comes up to something that is less than 100 it's really becomes really a very, very, very good offer. Let's see if I have anything else here. Thank you for the warm words, by the way. It's a pleasure. 
אוקיי. For the physical game, yes, there is also a special offer for the physical game. The physical game now it's 99 US dollars instead of 128. Don't miss it out. In, in three days, it's going to be the full price. Keep it in mind. Okay, uh, this is it, I think. Thank you everyone so much for coming today, for speaking up. And thank you for your support and for your love and for really for being such an amazing partner together with us in this amazing journey uh, for so long. Some of you, I know, I think for more than 14 years. Wow, 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 really. Uh, so I'm really happy and privileged for that. And I can tell you with this Speak Up solution and the new training programs that we are building for organization, the plan is, that we will be able to give uh, our facilitators uh, to deliver points of view training programs all around the world. This is where we are putting now all the attention and we are building new infrastructure for organizations to, be, to really be able to come and to make a difference in the workplace where they really need our magic and our uh, ability to create those meaningful conversations. So thank you everyone, thank you and Hope to meet you face to face somewhere in the world, maybe in Israel in the retreat, maybe in Poland. We have a turning point program in two weeks. Mark is going to facilitate it. We are going to have a turning point program in Thailand. I think we still have some spots left in October. We have in Greece, facilitated by Elise. So uh, we are going to have it in October in Greece. We are going to have points of me. For those of you who want to become points of you masters, the level four of our academy, I'm not sure we still have place. You need to talk with Shani, but we have in September another course. And for 2024, by the way, we are going to have a retreat in Bali, in Indonesia, the power of silence. We are going to have a retreat in, again, it's still secret. I'm telling you something that we, I'm not supposed to say, but I have to tell you. Uh, we are checking a location in the Mexico Sonora Desert. And we are going to do an amazing, amazing uh, retreat over there together, maybe with a ceremony uh, for our tribe members, maybe a, a shaman a ceremony, ayahuasca, I don't know. Let's see. We will keep you posted. And we are planning to have another one, I hope, I hope, I hope, in Cappadocia, in Turkey, with the flying balloons. So we have exciting things coming up in 2024. We'll keep you posted. Thank you again for all of your support, your love, for paying it forward. Together, we are making a difference in the world. One by one, circle by circle, and we turn the world into a better place together. Love you. Sending you a virtual hug all the way from Israel. Yopa. Opa. Opa. Natan. Opa. Bye bye. Opa. Thank you, everyone. Salamat. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Adios. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista, baby. Bye, Hasta la vista.